Hi Libra, it's Ellie and welcome to your reading. So we are going to take a look at the energies coming towards you for the next three months. It can be about love, can be about career, money, finances, relationships, all right? Let's let spirit tell you. So let's start. Thank you so much, my spirits, angels, and guides. Please tell me what is coming towards my dear Libras regarding their next three months. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. So just a reminder, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the next three months, all right? Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. I really am. Um, I hope you continue supporting me. You know, I enjoy what I do here on YouTube, and I hope you continue to support me. All right. So Libra, your theme for the next three months would, all, would be all about the King of Wands. Right? King of Wands. What is coming towards you? The world. In October, what is coming towards you is the world. You have the Ace of Cups. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. My, my. Aces. Was the challenge the Queen of Cups? Could be dealing with Pisces. Any water sign, but more on a Pisces placement. Um, you have the Three of Cups. You have the King of Pentacles. What is the advice? The Five of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. You have the Hierophant. Eh, no, the High Priestess. Why did I say the Hierophant? Could be dealing with, an, uh, with a Taurus. Okay, the overall outcome is the Seven of Swords. You have the Queen of Wands. That's nice. And then the Four of Pentacles. If you can see the King of Wands here. The last one is the Queen of Wands. Anyway, take it out. It resonates. Okay. So, Libra. Your theme for the next three months is the King of Wands. Definitely you are... Well, I'm not saying you're immature, but... This is a time for you to really grow, to really mature a lot more in whatever situation you have. Definitely, there's something you're really passionate about, and it's going to make you a lot more mature. Um, there's a lot of excitement coming towards you, and you are ready for it. I'm saying you are ready for it. All right. It's actually nice. So whatever it is coming towards you for October, November, and December, this is something that you are passionate about or you're going to be a lot more mature about, all right? So October, your overall energy or what is coming towards you for October is the world. So, excuse me, the world. So I feel that this is about you. There is a completion of the cycle, period. There is a completion of a cycle. This is you really embracing endings and new beginnings. I feel that you are coming towards a new beginning. A new cycle is coming towards you. Also, I feel that for some of you, if you know travel, there aren't so much travel restrictions, some of you would be traveling, all right? But like for us guys in the Philippines, it's kind of hard for us to travel. Anyway, so the world, yes. Definitely something is changing. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's changing in your life. 
Maybe it's in a relationship, maybe it's a job, but I feel that this is about love. This is about love, all right? This is you ending cycles, embracing new beginnings, all right? Your challenge here is the Queen of Cups, male, female, not really gender specific, but I feel that maybe you are dealing with someone who is a Pisces. Um, yeah, take it how it resonates. Someone who has a water sign, but more of a Pisces placement. But, you know, take it how it resonates. This is about self-love. Self-love, self-care. Um, you realize that for you to start this new cycle or this new relationship that you, that, that, or that you are ending or uh, that you are beginning, you have to love yourself a lot. All right, why? Because number one, you cannot pour from an empty cup. I always say that. I don't know why people don't understand that you cannot pour from an empty cup. So if you do not have love or if you do not have like a very healthy um, definition of love, you will not be giving that healthy kind of love to someone. All right. And if you don't love yourself, how can you love someone else? All right, so this is about love, uh, the deep kind of love, the selfless kind of love, something that's very nurturing, that something that is self-love, all right? This is about self-love. That is the challenge here. How will you love yourself? Okay, the advice of spirit, face your disappointments. Face the disappointments that you have gone through in the past five weeks five months five days that's too soon all right take it how it resonates but face the disappointments it's time for you to accept that there are people or there are situations that will really disappoint you but it's up to you to learn all right it's up to you to learn okay you have the seven of swords Definitely you have to be care as your outcome, all right? Definitely you have to be careful with the people you are going to give your love to, you are going to give your time to, you are going to give your energy to, you're going to give your money to. You know, the first three things, those things you cannot take back. Money you can always earn, as I always say. Money you can always earn. But time, love, energy, those things, those things you cannot take back. So you have to be careful on whom you will be giving these three things to, all right? I hope I made that clear. It's like I'm, am I a parent here? I sound like a mom. Anyway, I'm sorry. It's not an insult, all right? It's just that my mom sounds like that. Um, <laughs> I love you, Libra. Anyway, what is coming towards you in November is the Ace of Cups. I feel that there is new love coming towards you. New love. This is not renewed love, actually. This is not renewed love, but this is new love. Heavily. Heavily, I feel in this card. This is new love, which is really nice. This is something that the universe really gave you. Something that the universe made just for you. I always say that, but... This is something that you deserve now. From all the disappointments that you felt, from all the relationships that did not work in the past, this is something that's coming towards you because the universe has heard your plea, the universe has heard your cries, and they decide now that now is the time. Now is the time for you to get that love that you deserve. All right, Libra? The challenge here is the Three of Cups. I feel that the challenge is getting the support from your soul tribe. Getting the support from your soul tribe. All right? Um, sometimes your soul tribe would think that um, whoever this new love is coming towards you Sometimes people feel that you are so much better or someone, this is someone who does not deserve you, you know. But it's up to us on how we, how we introduce and, 
you know how we help build the relationship between our new love and someone uh, and our la, 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 and our soul tribe so yeah you will eventually get that support i feel but right now there is little to no support at all come november all right okay so advice of spirit The advice of spirit here is hmm, funny, weird. All right. The advice of spirit here is it's up to you whether or not you want to make that offer. But make sure that if you want to offer something, it's really well thought of. Make sure that what you are offering is something secure. Make sure that if you love this person, you would offer stability and security. All right. I think that is the la the one of the one of the things that we really look for in a relationship, the feeling of security. All right. That it's a secure relationship to be in. All right. You have the Queen of Wands as your overall outcome. So, male, female, not really gender specific, but you are going to meet someone who is very confident, someone as good looking as you. This is someone you're dealing with. Someone who is confident, someone who is as good looking as you, someone who is very magnetic, and you know, someone who really lights up the room. All right. When they come in, this is someone that really lights up the room. Lights up your life. Lights up your life, all right? Um, although this is your theme card, as you can see, these are divine counterparts. Divine counterparts, all right? This is fated, all right? For December, you have the Ace of Pentacles. I am hearing that this is about a job, about financial stability, all right? You are getting something that is gifted from the universe again. The universe favors you a lot when it comes to love, when it comes to work, when it comes to finances. The universe really favors you a lot, Libra. So this is something that is divinely guided, again, divinely gifted. Something stable, something secure can be an inheritance for some reason, I'm hearing that. I usually don't say that because when you inherit something, it's usually because someone passes away or something like that. But, you know, take it how it resonates. I'm hearing you are going to get some jackpot for some reason and a jackpot of an amount all right your challenge here is the king of pentacles i'm seeing you overworked overworked all right overworked on something or overworked on how you want to build something or how you want to establish something your mind, your body, your soul is overworked on how you want to be abundant, on how you want to be stable. All right? That is something that I I really saw. I actually saw someone who was really sweating and really, you know, carrying something really heavy while working. So overworked, all right? Exhaustion. Um... The advice here is the high priestess. So you don't need to really put so much effort in it. You just have to listen to your gut. You have to listen to your intuition, whether or not this decision is right on how you should move forward with your job, with your career, with your money, all right? December, definitely, it's about money. November, definitely, it's about... Um, well, October definitely it's about relationships and um, self care, self love, letting go, letting go, and starting a new cycle for yourself. November it's about love. It's all about love. In December it's all about um, work. It's all about finances. All right. Your overall outcome is the Four of Pentacles. Definitely, if you are starting something new, if this is something that is divinely guided for you, you are going to be a little bit closed off about it. You're going to be a little bit 
you know, closed off about your money, all right? If you are starting a business, if you are starting a new career and you are still building your finances, definitely you are going to be a little bit closed off when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your job, all right? So that's fine. Eventually you will, you know, you will stop hanging on too much to on your finances, on your money. All right. So let's see additional messages that your angels want to tell you. Uh, it could be a an an, uh, question in your head. It could answer a question in your head. I'm not going to take that much. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Helpful people, all right? Helpful people. So this is about your soul tribe, all right? This is about your soul tribe. Helpful people. Okay, let's see your spirit animal oracle card to cap off your reading. Grasshopper spirit. Take a leap of faith. That's number three. When you reduce it, three plus zero is three. That is the Empress card. Or number three could be significant for you, all right? So yeah. Okay, that is all I have for you, Libra. I hope something in the reading resonates. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, thank you so much for sub subscribing to my channel, for supporting my channel. I hope you continue to support me. So I love you all. Thank you so much and stay blessed.